What up, Bobcat Nation? It's Quinnipiac University Welcome Week at 2K19. I'm here to show you all the dope festivities as we welcome the class of 2023. It's time for Around Bobcat Nation. Hey, I'm Esau Green. It may be called Welcome Weekend, but we don't have to wait till Saturday for things to get lit. It's Thursday and things are already kicking off as some freshmen are moving into their new dorms. Let's check it out. Let's go, Bobcats! Let's go, Bobcats! Welcome weekend 2K19. You're probably watching this. It's probably your car. I'm waiting for you right now. Oh my, I'm so, I'm, I'm so happy you're finally here. Like, welcome to the family. Oh, Dad, stay in the car. We got you. Moving crew's got you. Let's get it, moving crew. Did you bring an Xbox? I did not. Did you bring a PlayStation? I did not. You play Fortnite? I do. Everyone play Fortnite, man. Come to my room, I got you at the hook up. <laughs> like, I'd help you. Boy, I did like a lot of push ups this morning. Look at, like, look at that. Like, can we get like a close up on those muscles? She's crushing it. We're outside Irma and Dana. We're ready to meet more of the class of 2023. Come check it out. What are you looking forward to here as a new student? You know, I'm super excited to get involved in everything, student government, sports, and everything. Oh, that's so dope. to go, I'm ready. That's cool, I'm on student government. I'm vice president on, of X on student government. Oh, really? So it's nice to you know you're already sending yeah, set of right. stairs. I'm hoping to see you <laughs> on student government. Making new friends, meeting all my professors and building bonds with them. Welcome weekend, getting to like meet new people, see my classes. Meeting new people. I've known like the same amount of people my whole life, so new people is going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to my business classes, having more uh, intimate classes, being one-on-one -on -one with my professors, but I'm also looking forward to joining clubs and going to some hockey games. That's, that's a big hockey girl. <laughs> yes. We just met our new friends at Irma and Dana. We're about to head over to Ledges, but before we gotta do that, we have to rub the paw for good luck. He's coming too, he's coming too. Let's do this! No, you always gotta contribute the best way you can. See, moving crew really loves to do the heavy lifting. See that? That's called dedication. That is the heaviest lift so far today. <laughs> Campus is buzzing with excitement as freshmen move into their new homes. Today is just the beginning. I'm so excited to meet the rest of the class of 2023 as they move into Mountain View and Complex tomorrow. It's Friday afternoon and the rest of those living on campus have already moved in. The freshmen are currently headed to meet their new schools. While they do that, let's go meet some of the faculty. I'm here with Jose Rio Frio from Mechanical Engineering, Mickey Meadows Oliver, Wasim Ahmad from the uh, School of Communications, Rosa Nieves, Sujata Gadkar Wilcox from the College of Arts and Sciences, Dave Tomchek from the School of Business, Kathy Solomon, Professor of Sociology in the Best College, College of Arts and Sciences. Always. So, what are uh, some great things you're looking forward to for this year? I'm excited to welcome new students. Um, I love when they come, they have a lot of energy. They're excited to be away from home for the first time. I'm looking forward to seeing a new group of Global Engagement Fellows. So, well, I'm, I'm new here and I'm super excited at the amount of resources that are available here between the really awesome broadcast center over there and the cameras and equipment that are available to the students. We can really dive deep and just get hit the ground running to start the project. What are some crazy things happening in the School of Business and the College of Arts and Sciences? So for the School of Business today, there's some meetings, getting to know each other. For the entrepreneurship program, we're going to do some creativity exercises. We have a scavenger hunt planned for them and then we also have them over at the North Haven campus so they um, can visit our simulation center. So. That's crazy. Yeah. So like what's what's at the simulation center? Um, we have different types of patients. So we have babies. We actually have a pregnant simulation person so they can watch a delivery happen. So oh, good work. Oh, good. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, she out? She out? I don't know if I'll catch myself there, but <laughs> let's see what happens. Well we're gonna get everybody together. Uh, we want uh, gonna get to know the students at a personal level, so 
We're gonna have like a mingling event with students and faculty. You know, being a new student myself at one point, I was always looking for ways, you know, possibly get A's here and there. Mm -hmm. So what are ways for a student to get an A in your class? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, with the assignment. You know, if you bring me the right snacks. Uh -huh. um, you're, you're an apple kind of person? Well, I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have right. to figure well, you it out. Well, you're here first. You no, know, seriously, <laughs> just engage yourself, you know, be committed, um, be invested, reach out, meet with your professor, go to their office hours, you know, all of that mentoring and partnership goes a long way. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to slip a Hershey bar here and there. Say or Reese's. Come in, do the reading, you're participating. I know the students that put effort in the class, and they stand out to me right away. As an academic advisor, like, what are some tips you might have for new students? Students. Definitely check your email, but also be open to asking a lot of questions in your classes. Don't be afraid to send us an email if you have any inquiries. You just said you're new here. Um, what are ways students can interact with you? Don't you know, kind of break the ice, like have great bonding. The students can hit me up on Twitter. Or they can come by my office, which is uh, in the CCE over here. And I'm always happy to just talk cameras or, or photo or anything they want to talk about. You heard it here. He's hip, so you know, DM him. Hashtag him, whatever you gotta do, guys. Could you tell everybody else I'm hip too? All right. <laughs> My wife too? All right, I got you. It's Saturday morning and we're at our main event of Welcome Weekend. The class of 2023 are getting ready to head into the People's United Center where they become official members of Bobcat Nation and part of the Quinnipiac family for life. Let's go check it out. It's 8 a.m. This is the earliest most of these students will be up this year. So I'm trying to get them aside, get them pumped. Let's see what I can do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What up to you? He's like, my AirPods down. I don't want to talk to you. I'm here with the... Welcome to the cross team! Woo! Yo, come on, come on, man. Hit the, hit the little, hit the little smitty, smitty, smitty. Hey, oh, okay. Oh, post, post from mom and dad back home, eh? Like, you look like somebody who likes to yell. Let me hear something real quick. Woo! <laughs> We're here at the hockey side of the People United Center, waiting for the rest of the class of 2023 to join us. After this, we're going to get things started in the basketball arena. It's going to be exciting. Let's do it. Let's go, Bobcats! Let's go, Bobcats! What are some great things that have happened during orientation and welcome weekend? Well, I met my roommate. Yeah. You did? So when you like watch this like 10 years from now, you're like, wow, this is where you met. Hey, we're just chilling. Yeah, I like that, I like that. You out? You a hockey fan? I am, yeah. Yo, what's your favorite team? Uh, I like the Hurricanes. There's one right answer. You're messing yeah, up, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like a Quinnipiac hockey team? team? Yeah. You know any of the players? Uh, I know some of them, yeah. You don't want to come to support all their hockey games, right? Yeah, I'll be at every hockey game. You know, every game's free for you right, as a student. Yeah. So that means you have to pop out at every single hockey game. I'll be game. at every single hockey game. Yeah. You promise? Yeah, that's, that's a promise? Yeah, I heard you. Yeah, you want to tell me a secret? Yeah. You're on the hockey team? <laughs> yeah. Skylar, you're on the hockey yeah. team, but you want to hear the match? I said I was going to be here. Right. 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 All right. No, that's not, he literally met. He's got to be here. Welcome to the class of 2023. You have to try to be in community, make connections, share yourself, and receive what others have to give you. Now you, our students, are a big reason that makes Quinnipiac so special. In addition to the terrific peers in your class of 2023, it's your faculty and staff and coaches who have such amazing diverse skills coming from different disciplines and backgrounds. What will matter is every act of integrity, compassion, courage or sacrifice that enriched, empowered or encouraged others to emulate your example. Coming here was a true opportunity to restart. It was my chance to be whoever and whatever I wanted to be. And to not let one decision from my past control my life and my opportunities. The Kiyu fam's all here. The class of 2023 are now official members of Bobcat Nation. The journey's just starting and continues here at Obama Fair. Check out this video right here. Go Bobcats! 